In this episode, we're going to do some exploring in our soon-to-be hometown of Cape Coral, Florida. Our first stop is at the Glover Bite Trail. The trail is a wheelchair-accessible boardwalk nature trail that goes through mangroves and wetlands and ends at the Glover Bite. <laughs> so we've got a nice little raised walkway through the park here, through the mangroves. Nice little tower. Well, this is it. Where's the top part? <laughs> It'd be nice if we went up one more level. <laughs> We're like just not high oh, enough. Crabble. That's Tarpon Point in the West End, right? Over there? Yes. Yeah, look at this. Somebody doesn't love TD anymore. Oh well. Here's a nice little steps into the mud. This stuff I was curious about. They're like twigs, like grass. They roll over the place. Like little punji sticks. You don't want to step on them. Right, Bridge? Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Another staircase to nowhere. Don't see any alligators. The water is like an orange brown tannin color in here. It doesn't look like the tide comes up and down too much. I'm trying to figure out why that is so. In New York, New York City, we get like a five, six foot tide swing. Not hearing Cape Coral. After our quick walk through the Gover Bike Trail, we hopped back in the car and drove just down the road to Rotary Park. Rotary Park is a mix of trails, playgrounds, barbecue pits, dog parks, and some wildlife. This little dog park here in Rotary Park. Bridget was taking a picture in the, uh, oh, the owl, the burrowing owl of Cape Coral. There she is. <laughs> little butterfly cage here. What's in here? Dangerous reptile. See him? He looks dangerous. Yeah, I don't think can't really see him through the cage here. Help me. Come here. Help me. Oh, look at this little guy. Like, come here, come here, help. Yeah, that moves pretty quick. Quick turn. All right, so Bridget and LJ are going to do their workout. Well, so, like, so beginner exercises, we do one, two, and three, and just get in and in. Yeah, I'll say this from over here. Working out is for people that don't have enough physical activity in their day, like waxing boats and working on engines and mowing the lawn. Don't tell Bridget. Bridget doing the whole circuit. 
Come on, deep. Deep. <laughs> She's flying. Wow. Fancy. She's like the Karate Kid. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. Whatever it is. Cobra Kai. <laughs> so while Bridget is working out, I'll hang out over here and cook burgers on a barbecue. What do we have here? Looks like it's to spy on the animals. I don't know. Yep, there's some birds or something out there. All right, Rotary Park. Nice place to come with the family. Walk around a little bit. There's another trail in the back of Rotary Park. No dogs allowed. Sorry, matey. That looks interesting. Dirt trail. Oh, there's Bridget. Bridget out of her next station. Practicing for pole dancing. Another trail. Raised boardwalk. Not too far past that dirt road. Dirt trail. You don't want to go? Whatever you want. Come on. Come on. The dirt one? No, I don't want to do the dirt one. You can go. I'll sit here. Pretty neat. Some bamboo growing right here. Didn't think this was indigenous to this part of Florida. I don't know. You guys can let me know. All sorts of fancy plants. City guy like me don't know such things. This is a cool tree. Lots of trails out here. Our next adventure was a short ride away to Four Freedoms Park, which is overlooking Bibdi Basin, a popular anchorage for many travelers. All right, now we're checking out Four Freedoms Park in Cape Coral. Little waterfront park here. A little ice cream place right across the street from it behind us. Over that way. Now this here I believe is called Bimini Bay. And uh, this bay here, deep water, you can see there's sailboats here, so it's sailboat access. And uh, you can drop anchor in here. You can find room for it. A little beach right here. Unfortunately, no wading, swimming, or s no sunbathing only at this beach. No dogs allowed. Nobody loves dogs. Nice little white sand beach. This place to chill. Getting a little windy over here. Chilling bridge. It's shallow at the seawall, so I'll go pulling up here. Bridge make fun of me. She makes fun of me when I'm videotaping walking around like this but I walked by a guy with a GoPro on his head I told her that's my competition here in Cape Coral this is probably boat docking for yeah it's a private dock probably for the tenants of the condo there a little fishing pier here it actually looks like you can pull a boat up to here I'm sure the sign says no docking seawall here is all shallow. It looks like rocky coral shell, so don't get too close. It is Bimini Bay. I was just talking to the fisherman there, and he said he fishes for sheep's head, drum, whatever they are. So apparently there's fish in here. I'm curious what this old sailboat is doing over here. So the signs say official use only. I'm guessing this one says the same thing. This might be just a derelict boat. Yep. 
must have approval of the harbor master office prior to docking. So, yeah, this, this sailboat, a little bit of barnacle on the bottom. And then some dinghies tied up. I guess you could use it as a dinghy dock. There's another one down there. I don't see signs on this one, so I wonder if this dock here could be used as a uh, quick stop. Another sign. Signs everywhere. Everybody... Oh, no trespassing. No trespassing. No fun. Uh, the Gestapo's take the fun out of everything in life. Signs, signs, everywhere signs. Do this, don't do that. Can't you read the sign? After our visit to Bimini Basin and Four Freedoms Park, we were getting a little hungry and it was time to head down to the Yacht Club area of Cape Coral and near the Boathouse Restaurant. Again, only a short five minute ride away. One of my favorite places in Cape Coral is Yacht Club area here, by the Boathouse Restaurant. Unfortunately, this whole area is going to be closing down temporarily as they redo the entire area here. They're going to replace the Yacht Club, the marina, the beach is getting redone, they're adding more parking. The boat ramps are being moved, I believe. They're supposed to shut it down April 2022, but I think it's been delayed. I'm saying they will be shut down for like two years as they do the work. A little beach here on the Okeechobee River. Pretty crowded this time of year. Bridget didn't know what a manatee was up until this morning. Nice little beachy area. Clean. The Okeechobee River goes up that way to Lake Okeechobee. And then if you go this way, that's towards the Gulf. Gulf of Mexico. So the water's not super blue here. It's a little brownish like the river. There's nice little pavilions to sit under. A really long fishing pier. Right there in the distance. Big grill set up here. Public events, I guess. Park. I'm sure we're gonna have a long wait here. Right next to it is a gas dock and you pull your boat right up. Nice long bulkhead docking. A lot of boats there. Alright, so we got a seat here right at the gas dock, so it smells like fuel, but we had to wait an hour and a half for a table seat. But it's seat yourself at the bar here, which is a nice view. Leap of faith. Oh boy. No lines. Let's have the kids jump from the boat to the dock. That'll work. No selection here. Yeah, baby.
favorite place. So that concludes today's walking tour of Cape Coral, Florida. There is so much more to see in this area and we're really looking forward to moving down here full time. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.